I'm Nicole Rogers, uh, the owner of Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art. And today we're gonna make a dog, a little little puppy dog. So let me um, introduce me myself. My and I was born in. My name is Nicole Rogers. I was born in Romania, and I um, and I'm autistic. So I'm an, and I'm high functioning. I have high functioning autism. So and I taught myself how to do balloons. So, and I started my own business, which is Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art. And sometimes I have to teach my dad, I mean, my assistant, to um, <laughs> twist with me because I got so busy with gigs. Oh, now I'm an assistant now, huh? And um, <laughs> come on over. I'm going to introduce oh, you oh, to him. I, so, this is my assistant. <laughs> so, um, he helped me do the drawing sometimes. He helped me give me ideas and stuff. Like today, we on a dog. We're gonna have him with an open mouth. So we gonna um, open mouth. Yeah, an open mouth, like a cartoon. Is he gonna have teeth? Yes, a oh. teeth and a pink nose. I don't think this is a good idea. Yeah, it is. Really? It's a good idea. No, because if he has teeth, he can bite people. I know. Dogs do bite people well, sometimes. Can I get out of here now? Yes, I am. If you need me, just holler. I will. Oh. I am now. <laughs> I'm going to start on the dog. So what you need is the two, this is called a 260. These balloons are commonly, commonly used for twisting. So you know why they call them 260? Because they have two inch diameter and they're 60 inches when they're fully inflated. So you need a, a blush one and you need a white 160. These are the smaller balloons. These are for like detail work. So they're just small. You need one of these and you have probably two or three of these depending if I have enough balloon to do the body and a head. And then you need a pink 260 for the nose. And this is in a uh, brown or black 260 for the ears. So that, and you need a black sharpie marker and scissors <laughs> and glue dots because on these we use these little googly eyes that you can just get at an arts and crafts store. Any old arts and crafts like Michael's and Joann's. And the little kids like those a lot. Don't and they, they like and little kids love those because they're they're jiggly. So <laughs> so let's get started. So. Take a brown 260 or whatever color your dog going to be. He can be a black one, he can be a brown one, he can be a colorful one, or, or, or a real breed of dog. Now, so I'm going to uh, assume I'm going to do a four finger tail. So you take it and always, before you inflate, you stretch them because it makes them easier to work with. So, if it, and this pumper I have is called a Legenda and it's a battery operated rechargeable pump and all you have to do is is um take the hand like this and just go like that and I need like a four finger tail like so it's a good idea to do it if you like that and then I will usually burp it because there's a reason why balloons are full of pressure sometimes so the more pressure it will pop it so always burp little balloons like this. And if you need to tie it. So I tie it because the air, you need to tie it because the air could leak out. And you don't want that. You can't twist it with an underinflated balloon. Okay, so now I'm gonna take like the maybe like a hand, hand with bubble. And then I'm gonna make two pinch twists, like one inch twist. And I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna twist these together because the reason why I'm adding two on uh, twists because this is where the ear's gonna sit in. Then I come down and I just met eyeball it like so. And then you just twist and you always poke the knot through so if that twist does not come undone. And you do it like that. And then 
You make like a three finger bubble, a four finger bubble, how long you want a dog's neck. And it, this is, it could be the neck. So now, have you ever heard of a roll through before? So this is how I'm gonna make the body now. So I'm gonna come down like maybe um, this long a bubble, and then I just come up, and I just eyeball it, and I just twist like this. Looks like maybe about six inches, huh? Yeah, something like that. And then I come down, and I uh, and I twist here. And a roll through, you just come down and you kind of push, push it through, like so. You can use a body to, to help it, it, may, it works better. So, and that's called a roll through. So now with this piece, if you have, if we're gonna make a little triangle piece, guys, that's, we're gonna hook the paws on. So I make like a hand whip bubble, then a small one inch bubble. And if you don't have enough, which I don't, <laughs> what I did, you take the scissors like this, and then you just deflate it. Tie, be sure to tie it. And then, and then you just twist it into that roll through. And then, we twist it again, and then, you know what these are called? We have a funny term for these things. We call them stragglers. <laughs> so we need to get rid of these stragglers. Why? Because it doesn't look professional. Uh -huh. So, uh, same thing, I'm going to take another 260, that's mocha brown, four fingers of tail. It's my guess. Like that. Then I always burp them, release the pressure, tie it. Now with this balloon. And you release the pressure because it makes them soft. Yeah, and it makes them really soft. See how soft it is? It doesn't burst. So, and then you take this knot, and you take it, and you go into this crease right here, onto the dot, and you pull it tight, and you kind of push the balloon up. Just kind of do like this. Tie it like that, and then now I'm going to make where the paw's going to hook in at. So I make like a hands weight double, one inch bubble, and I just line this up like so, and I do an eyeball check so I can be able to twist it right in there because there's a reason why you want to put these on. This is where the paw's going to go in here. So, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna make two pinches because that's where the tail gonna go. So for the tape for the piece where the good tail, I make a one-inch bubble, then I pinch twist it. And then I make another one-inch bubble and I um, make sure it's the same size. I and then I make two inch two bubbles for that's where the tail's gonna hook in at. So, and then I take my handy dandy scissors, snip that, the end off, inflate it, and then I tie it. And tie it tight. You always wanna do that with balloons, because you don't want no pieces to come undone. So, and the eye poke it through. So now we have to get rid of the, the swagger. That's what we call them. Sometimes they call them tails. They, they, call, they have different terms for the stuff. We use scrudges too. Huh? And we use the scrudges. It's just a funny name for uninflated balloons. So scrudges now, and stragglers, huh? Yep. Now <laughs> I am going to make his arms, his paws. So take another brown, mocha brown 260 or whatever color you guys chose. Um, for, I usually do four inch tail because it usually give me enough. So I'm gonna do another four inch tail. Like so. So, for the paws, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> I make three little pinch twists like about one, one finger. Is he making his 
it a pause. So, and I usually do print and there's a trick. You always squeeze the balloons to let the air out, to push the air so it creates less pressure. Sometimes air pressure can um, build up. So now, so this is the fun part. So now you have to take this and thread it to this joint. So you have to kind of pull on it. Hold it like this. Pull, pull. And then this, these paws going to go into that joint. So there's a reason. And then you just kind of twist it around once. And then you go up like... Um, yeah, let, me, let me move this over for you so in case they can, can't see real good. That's a good. And then, Is that better? Yes. Okay. And then I take this arm, like about maybe a seven inch bubble or so, and then I just twist it into that neck. And then... Kind of show them what you got. And then this is what, I, this is what she, you should get. Because there's the paw right here, his leg. The paw, the leg. Then I'm going to come down, I'm going to fret it through here to make the other paw. Oh. That's, uh, that's why I made those little joints. But all you have to do is just kind of push it, push it, push it. And you kind of have to measure. See, you kind of have to like measure it. So you can, uh, because I have to twist into that joint to make the other feet. So, um, there we go. Uh, that looks good. And you have to eyeball it on this stuff. And then now, I'm going to make three little one-inch bubble pinches for the dog's feet. So, okay, and then squeeze it. Sometimes I have to use my body. To um, do like the roll through and stuff because it's easier. Your body can be used for balloons too, like like a roll through thing. Because you have to hold that part. Now you have to deflate this. Bye bye. Tie it, or else the air will leak out. Tie it tight knot. Then you just wrap it. And then you just cut it off. I stretch them and I cut them off so it can disappear. Like a magic trick. So your balloon should look like this with the feet and the paws on. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do his muzzle. So take a blush 260 I, and I do a four inch tail on that too. Because it just gives me enough balloon to, um, work with. So and this is gonna and this is gonna be his open mouth like uh like you've seen in like Mickey Mouse cartoons and stuff. So now I have to make I'm gonna make a pin twist first. And then I'm gonna have to come down. Ah, this is that you have to eyeball it. Is that is that good Dan? And now this is for the top part? Yes. Um, yeah, that might be okay. You, you can even go a little longer. I can, yeah, I can always do that, and like so, like about a... That's about a five inch. Five inch. Yeah. Then I just fold it over, mirror image, yeah. as I say, and you twist, and you twist into a pinch twist. So you make, so your balloon should look like this. So now I have to add the cheeks and his little loopy mouth out of one balloon. So... The cheeks are basically like a I forgot how you do that. Yeah. Four four fingers. And you just twist it. Like what you do for a like a full twist like a flower, basically. And then I, I did four uh, four fingers. I'm gonna fold it over again and I have to get it just right. Now I squeeze the balloons because too much pressure will pop them or cause pinholes. The balloons are made out of latex, so this is <laughs> this is about four fingers. So you have to kind of squeeze, you have to kind of play with the cheeks and to get them right. So this is your this bubble goes in the back. 
So you want a balloon look like this. Because vent, because the nose and the teeth are gonna go here, and this is the cheeks. So the dog's head gonna sit up here. So now I'm gonna make the mouth part. So squeeze again. And I made that piece maybe is that a good size, Dan? Yeah, I don't want bad. Okay, so I do like a a hand's width. Maybe a little tiny one. Just a tiny one. Or a tiny, depending on how I want our dog to look. Yeah. Wanna look like goofy? You wanna look at like four fingers here? Yeah, I Okay, and then you just twist it. And I twist them around the cheek. So, and then, then now, I have to get rid of this because I'm gonna put it on to the head now. I kind of forgot how you did this. The mouth? Yeah, I don't. That's kind of neat seeing you do it again. Thanks. Uh, then always um, tighter knots, hydro stragglers. So now, uh, you, we came up with that name. Okay, and I, I sometimes I use a scraggler because sometimes it helps me to tie on the balloons better because so I mean, the more pressure. Yeah, show, show them, you can't really, can't, you couldn't see it. Show them what you're talking about, what the straggler is. So the that? straggler right here, I use that sometimes to attach the balloon to here because sometimes it does pop if there's more pressure into the balloon. Mm -hmm. So I have to put it on there, kind of, it's like a, it's like a guide. So you take the straggler, tie it around that joint way here, and you kind of have, have to play around with it, because it's just a guide to help me to make the pieces go on better. So now, you have to kind of adjust the pieces to make them go on to the balloon. So I'm going to put pinch twist in the back because there's a reason. So, if it were. have to kind of fiddle around with it and play with it and stuff so it so it can look right so it looks like a cartoon I'm just trying to make it look it's just sometimes balloons do that it just okay okay, okay so the balloon should look like that because yeah, that's you because that's what you must look like after you um, get it on there. So yes. this looks like it maybe just a little bit more. So this kind of, I was kind of hold it back there, adjust those a little bit, right? Yep. And maybe turn this one up. Because These are the cheeks, right? Yes, that's the cheeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this one's turning out better than the last one. Remember we had to add oh, some more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so. All right. And now. That looks good. Now we have to. He's missing something. He missing. He needs his teeth and nose and tongue. <laughs> you know? And otherwise, how can a dog eat, drink, sleep, and all that stuff? How does he do that? So, there's a technique to do the teeth and the nose. It's going to be cool. So I blow, I take a white 160. This teeth is really small, you know, I mean, like mine, mine is small, so. And you just put it on the legenda. Sometimes you have to kind of stretch the nozzle over the legenda, it's like so. And then you just have to kind of place it onto the, no the nozzle, and then you don't need a lot of balloon for the teeth. I would say maybe like this much, like a 
12 inch tail or so or a, a, something like that. Because you're not going to use it all, right? Yeah, we're not going to use it all. This is just for petite. So I make like a hands whip bubble because a 160 is a really small balloon. And I fold it over just like we did earlier. So and then I fold it over. You have some big old teeth, huh? It doesn't matter. I mean, some. Yeah, after this. I'm and then I uh, take the knot and I twist it like so. And then I always poke it through so it doesn't come undone on me. So now we can deflate the rest of this. And I'm going to tie it again because I don't want it to come undone. Again, this is going to be a little tricky part. So. Then you take the knot, kind of tie it. Tie it like so, or you can tie it wherever you want. It depends. It works. I usually double knot it. You never know with balloons. They sometimes come undone and stuff. I double knot it like so, and then I need a little like a like a tail on it because I'm gonna show you something really neat on how to put the teeth into the dog. So, um, is that? So we got the teeth, so I'm gonna set these aside. Now I'm gonna make the nose. So I take a pink 260, stretch it, and then I usually inflate all the way because I want a perfectly round nose. Like a cartoon character would have, like, like Mickey and Scooby. And, and you just do it like that. And then you just kinda determine how big your know, nose you want, hip for a guy or for a dog, so I don't want to say that much. Like, yeah, a, that looks good. I think, and then this is the fun part. Little kids like that, huh? Little kids love funny noises. Do you ask me? Then I tie it. You sure you weren't having gas? I don't have gas. <laughs> and I tie a tight knot because you want this rounded. So now I have to take a trip. Um, take a little bit of tail off because I'm gonna tie these together. I'm gonna make like a pressure fit. That means you take balloons and a pre pressure fit inside the balloon. So it's like a rubber band, you know? Like you've seen at the office supply stores and stuff. So see, and then, see it has like a slack? So, so you need that because you're gonna, you're gonna put it into a, this, this crease right here. So it's gonna act like a pressure fit. So let me cut the tails off, boom. And this is the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna take the nose and I'm gonna poke it through up here. Spread these open, it's almost, almost like a roll through, guys. And I poke this nose to the front and then I usually have it all the way to the front. So, and then it should look like that. Oh, that's that cool. is cool, isn't it guys? It's a character of buck teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, buck teeth, huh? And now, oh, a tongue. So, what size of balloon did he use for the tongue? Uh, the, uh, the 160. Okay, 160. Oh, so, we, just, that's, we just didn't get that one out yet, did we? No, that's I forgot right. about that. Um, right. Take a red 160, a number. We don't need a lot for this. This is just going to be for his tongue. Yeah, because that's the same thing. Yeah, he's gonna have his tongue because dogs have big tongues, you know. Yeah, I think it's funny. He's, and you don't need a lot, so. And there's a trick. So, um, don't tie it, then you can just kind of shrink it down. That's where we did it last time. We put the bubbles here, didn't we? Yes, okay. You can just, still do that, too. And, is that a good so long? what I do, Nikki, on that, just to kind of give you an idea. Yes, on the top. You see, it's going to go right, right inside here. Yes. Right? See so, right in there. Yeah. So you just kind of doesn't. It's not going to take much, but okay. you want that pretty soft, right? Okay, because he's going to. Yeah, a little shorter. It's just going to be a little accent, right? Like a like a you seen an art yeah, piece. Yeah, see, because that's just going to have to fit in there, right? That'd be about right. About like that. Okay, so. That looks good. And then you tie it, and then you, uh, okay, then you tie the other end. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, 
I'm just making sure. And just cut them, <laughs> cut them, cut them, cut your stragglers off, right? No, or scrudgies or whatever you call them. Or scrudgies. Smudgies. Yeah. Don't. Sn snudgies? Hey, maybe we can come up with snudgies. Don't cut below the knot because the air would go back, go out. Like your dad does sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. But now, you take the tongue piece and you pressure fit. Sometimes I have to use my body. Well, that, that table's up kind of high, too, huh? Yeah. And, okay, so there we go. Oh, that's it. That's you, it. Oh, look at that. Isn't she cute? See, that's, that's an accent, and it says tongue. So now, we're not done yet. Can I make a suggestion? What? You know, that two little things in the back of the neck to get the head to... Oh, point forward? Right. So now, right. I'm going to... His head is kind of pointing up like... He's in a, like a howling mode, so I want him kind of have his head kind of kink forward. Yeah, like so. I, I think that looks better. So I'm going to do a trick. I'm going to use... So I'm, I take a, take a brown balloon. You don't need a lot in this. So, like so. And I'm gonna make some pinch twists. Cause they're really good to uh, make things tidy and make things forward and. Two, right? Yeah, two yeah. pinch twists in the back. So now I have to make a pinch, like a like a one inch, and I tie it like this. Cause sometimes my pinch twists come and done. <laughs> and then I just do that. And I just do another one. Do that. Because you want to rock the head forward. He's not like a, a, a wolf. But you, but if you want to make a howling wolf, that's what you can do. Then you wouldn't do this, right? Yeah. Right. It's just an idea. You know, a lot of wolves howl at the moon and they have their heads up like that. It's just, it's like that almost. So now... I'm gonna take this, and it's easy for me to have a tail on her in case something breaks and stuff. So you never know with balloons. Cause you can always cut them off later. Yeah, I can always trim up all my pieces later. So now I'm gonna take this bubbles, then tie it into the back of his neck. You want the neck kind of rock forward. So I just tie it around here, and then. And then, oh, I guess I can. That did it, yeah. Yeah, and then now you have. You oh, just, did, you, did you get both bubbles or did one of them shrink away? Did one of them shrink? Yeah. Oh, then just cut it off. Redo it. No big deal. And then you explain what happened. That's so right. sometimes with balloons, they sometimes shrink, they pop, they deflate, and all that. So. You just have to be careful with balloons. You gotta redo that. Yeah, I just have to redo that part. That won't take long, guys. So, yeah, see, no, you see how there's no pressure here, Nikki? The, I mean, the, right. these balloons are made out of latex. So, latex is a very sensitive material. So, it hates sunlight, it hates heat. So, you have to just have to be careful. And sometimes it creates pinholes. So, uh, sometimes they're bad balloons. Too. And sometimes um, from a manufacturer, sometimes they have bad balloons. Yeah. Because I don't think they sort them out or something. I don't know how we uh, actually do defects and stuff like that at the factory. So you just do it, deflate it, and always have to tie because you want the air. So you just have to do a tight knot. And I just usually tie it around. Like so, and and I thought and I don't like pinch twists sometimes because they do pop when I have too much pressure on them. Sometimes like you're making a head on something, so so and then I'm gonna take a little tail because I'm there's a reason why it's like a guide to help me to put the bubbles on. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take it into the back, just kind of tie it like so. I do it a couple of times, so make sure it's secure. And then I need to get rid of these scrudgies, because they kind of bug me. Be careful when you don't pop the balloon. And I will be very careful with my scissors, so I don't actually oh. pop them. You almost got it. 
That looks good, man. Huh? And oh, then okay. now you kind of it rocked the head back. Yeah. So it was up in the up position. Now it rocked it back because that's what you need. So he's missing some parts. He needs a tail. He needs ears. So let's make the ears. So for the ears. Are you going to make these long and then curved? Yes. Can't come I'm going to take a black, brown, chocolate brown, whatever color of the ears, and I'm going to make this part um, maybe a four inch tail still. They're not going to be big ears like an elephant or something. So I just blow it up. Oh, and I got black this time. Oh. Okay. For four inch tail, it's just a guide for me. So I have to make sure I have enough balloon. So, now I tie the knot, so now I take it and I kind of determine how big I want my ears. And you have to kind of soften it because I'm going to do a trick to make it look like a doggy ear, you know, a cartoon doggy ear. So is that a good size? Uh, on that one there, maybe a little smaller. Like? Yeah, I think, well hold it up to the uh, dog, see what it looks like. So and sometimes I have to hold it up to my things to see how big I want to do it. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, and yeah. then you take the, and then you twist into this crease, and you tie it, and then you tie it through here, because you don't want that knot to come on, this come undone. It's just a trick to keep your balloons locked. Oh, and you make a duplicate just like that. Yeah, and, and I make a duplicate, and then I put it on the top of those bubbles. So now I have to determine how big I want them by eyeballing. I eyeball a lot of things, a lot of my stuff because it's kind of easier to do. And a hand measuring is a really good tip too. So, so is that okay, Dad? Yeah, that looks well. Hold it up with both of them uh, out like that. See what it looks like. Does that look? Yeah, I don't think that looks bad. Okay, so. Yeah. And they're soft? Are yes. They're pretty soft where you can bend them? Okay. Yeah. Then I just twist it around. Sometimes I poke this through to create like a lock. So and I, sometimes I have to massage it if they're too hard. Because there's a trick to make these kind of pointy, like a doll. So now I'm gonna to, um, cut this off, like so. Bye bye. <laughs> and then we'll twist this this way, right? Like that. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then I tie it, and then I always tie it again, like like run it through here. And I usually want to tie. Okay, I'm gonna have a tail because it really helped me guide it on there, and I can adjust it however I want. So now I'm gonna take this tail, and I'm gonna hold it just like this. I'm gonna hold it like this, and I'm gonna tightly spring it, and it will just create less tension onto the balloons because. When latex rub each other, it's sometimes weird. And, and, and you have to straighten them out, you have to kind of rock them. Rock them like this, and yeah, this, and this. Like that, doesn't it, and then, then you have your ears, but you want to make them look doggy. So I kind of bend it like so. Sometimes I have to use my body, so I kind of squeeze. And I kind of bend it. It's like doing a duck. You know, like a duck's bill. And I kind of pinch it a little bit. You know how we do it? And then I sometimes shock twist them. Oh, that's what that's called. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. So it looks like that, like a curve, like a, almost like a bill of a duck. Yeah. And then I have to do it on the same thing. And I just think of like a duck's bill. Squeeze, pinch twist, and then shock twist. There you go. And then you kind of point them down. Look like he's a begging dog. Or maybe this way here. Turn, turn him up a little bit. Uh, yeah. About maybe like. Oh. So. And now. What do you think? What do you think of that? Take a look at that. Alex cute. He's a cute little dog, but he's missing a tail. Sometimes dogs don't have tails, depending on the breed. <laughs> you know, if they bred. So I'm going to take a 160 brown or black, depending on what color of floor dog, I'm going to do black for the tail. I think it'll look cool because... Yeah, good, good contrast. Uh, a color contrast on the dog. So now I'm going to do a trick. 
I'm, I'm gonna, remember how we did the nose? I'm gonna blow it up all the way and I'm gonna measure how long the tail I want to have. So if you want it to have a nice, kind of cute tail, like so. So now, kind of look at the model, kind of look at it on the side. So if that's too long, you can always scoot it up. Yeah, that was like about right. And then you just do it like that. And then, now I'm gonna twist here. Is it pretty soft doing it that way so we can... Uh... Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. And sometimes I have to kind of stretch it like this to make them softer, because sometimes we curl potatoes. So we're gonna take it, and this is the funny part. And tie it, otherwise it'll go flying all over the place like a rocket ship. You're not supposed to be having gas when you're making videos. I am not having gas when I'm making videos, I'm sorry. But I have to, I just need a little bit of tail for tying it on there then. So would it be a good idea at this point to curve it right I now. can curve it right now. And shock twist it in a little bit. That is a good idea to do that? Yeah. Okay. And then now you have a curly tail. Okay. And then you take your tail and put it to the dog's butt. I know that sounds weird. You just take it, take your tail, scratch or whatever, scrudgies, smudgies. <laughs> you just tie it in there. Sometimes I, sometimes I have to use my body. Just help me to do the to do the blizzard and you have oh. a tail on those double pinterest so it can suck in and stay. That looks good, man. And it's a and um what else do we need? Eyeballs. Eyeball time. This is gonna be, and now we can add the details. Does your assistant help now? And my dad and my <laughs> assistant can help me do this part. Because he right, I'm not good at drawing, you know. He usually helped me with the drawing and the and the stuff like that. So, because I good. I never oh, knew, knew know how to draw good, because yeah, I like wasn't that. born that way. So. Yeah. yeah. See, that worked out better putting two up here last. Oh, we got a scrunchie. Look at that. Let me have the scissors. Okay. <laughs> Watch me pop your balloon around while you're making it, everybody. <laughs> laughing. Anyways, so now I have a glue dot on the back of an eyeball so he can just stick it on. So I usually just kind of eyeball where I'm going to put them. So I'm going to put them up high or low. You it all depends on the expression, you know. Well, if the you, nose. Want. you don't want the nose to high. You know, if you had them down here, yeah. then it wouldn't look right. So yes. I, I like to put them up higher. Because sometimes cartoon dogs have high eyes, you know. <laughs> kind of big eyes. Maybe we should just leave one eye. No, on I don't so. want a Cyclops puppy. Oh, okay, okay. That would be weird. You never like my ideas. Because they're weird. <laughs> I mean, I, I like monsters, but <laughs> little boys like that stuff. Right, okay, then I put them on like that. Okay. And then I like to put some... Eyebrows and whatever. Well, sometimes I like to put like a... Like some dogs, they have like a black eye. Yes, yes, like, like a beat. Uh, yes, yes. Kind of like I've seen those kind of dogs. So I just kind of wing it. And there's all kinds of breeds of dogs out there, right? So you can take this design and you can make any breed, like a Doberman Rottweiler, a Golden Retriever. You can make Pluto. You can make like licensed character ones, too. So, so I kind of do it like that little thing there. Okay, because sometimes they have a black patch, you know. Wait a minute. Well, this is going to have two of them. I'm yeah. giving my dog, or your dog, excuse me, <laughs> two black eyes. So I'll put that on there. Do I get a latte for this? Yes. I do? Yeah, because when we do events, guys, I, uh, I he helped me with the twisting up the farmer's market because there's sometimes a huge line. So I treat him to have a latte. He's pretty cheap, isn't he? Uh, so all yeah. I get is a latte. What? You get all the money and I get a latte. Well, right? it's my business and I'm the boss, baby. It's my gas. I know that. From gas and no automobile and all that. I think I'm going to go on strike. No, no, you're not going on strike. All right, listen, listen. All right, so now I did. Got the two black things like that. All okay. right. Then I'm going to give you some eyebrows. So I'm not going to, you want a mean dog or just kind of like 
Like a, a goofy looking dog. The goofy looking dog. Ah, All you, right, here we go. There's different expressions out there like worried, happy, sad. Oh, really? Yes. Well, how do you know that stuff? Because yeah, well, uh, sometimes I get sad and mad and happy and stuff. All right, right there, and so that's the eyes, and then we're gonna give him some stubble. You know, like well, on okay. a I usually muzzle. give him like three or four, right? I'll yeah. You know, like on a dog's nose, sometimes they have a little hole, so it's pores. That's where whis whiskers are, because they help him feel things. Because he didn't know about that. Should so. I give him some tooth decay? No. Okay, you can show him what you want there. That's so what this do. is my um, completed dog. So this is like a little cartoony dog that you can make any breed, any character out of. It's just a basic dog hey, on how to do it. Let's show them that other idea. Well, so, what, what oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, guys. Do you think we got room? Uh, I don't know. Let's do one. Let's do a, be okay. a belly in there. Sometimes we add bellies to dogs. Yeah, let's try that. So now how we do that... Speaking of, I don't, I know I don't have it pulled out right now, but what color of belly do you want to do? White, go white, go white. Go white. Like so, we did last time. Like we did last time. I'm going to take white quickly or round balloon, depending on what you guys have in your kits at home. So. We just don't want to make it too big, right? You don't want to make it too big. Because see this, this piece is going to go into this bulb, bulb, this hole or on the side. Because it's going to be his little belly. Sometimes dogs have two-tone bellies. So, kind of like cream colored down there. So now. Is that about right? That might be about right. Okay. Let's, let's maybe just a tiny this one. Okay, right there. Okay. Then I take it quickly, <laughs> or a round balloon, or an uninflated heart, depending on what you guys have in your balloon supplies. Then for this case, it's a quick link. So I take this, this, the nozzle and the nipple, or the tip, and then I take it. And I tie it like a pin. You're basically making a big pinch twist. And you tie it. You don't want to leave it like this because it will come undone. You see, because there's no knot. So then I tie it again. Everybody ties differently. That's part of a balloon world. And I leave it so it looks like that. So, and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to pressure fit this inside. Wait, so let me trim off the knot. Because this is going to go towards the back, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Because you're basically making a little puppy dog's... Oh, that's not going to show. Okay, okay. And what yeah, I did, I think last time, didn't we put it through the front? Uh, and, oh, you put it between his legs. There you go, yeah. And you kind of, kind of, kind of play with it. See it? And then on, you can look. Nice. Now he has a belly. <laughs> So now it looks kind of funny. And what else you can do on this is this here, if it's like for a birthday party or something like you that. You can write little customized messages on yeah, it. Yeah, like we go to Cutter's Point sometimes yes, and have a lattes together. And we'll they put, have a logo that says, says CP on there. And we'll or put for that, school, they have a school logo or and, something. And that's where we'll put that right here. Yeah. And I think we can put that a little tighter. That's just a pressure fit, right? Yeah, it's a pressure fit. No yeah. overall flow, it's a pressure and fit. And I think the dog looks a little bit more... It's cute. It's cartoony. It's cute. Yeah, right, right. And you go. can use this design in line work, centerpieces, or whatever, guys. So, and that's that's it for today. Um, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for um, let me part, be part of this group. You know, it'd be a good and idea to show them before you go. Show them the different uh, views of the dog. And no, you want to see my doggy come well, one more time? So here's that. Side view, yeah. Front view, side view, and back view. Yeah. So, and thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day. And again, this is Nicole Rogers, the owner of Nicole's Fantastic Balloon Art. Um, thanks for letting me teach me teach me in this group, Mr. Harry, and you guys, and all of you. So. And then you're gonna do a. On the next one, we're going to do a... On the next video, I'm going to do a mermaid. Ooh. Mermaid. But don't let it get close to the water. Don't let it... Beware, guys. Don't let it clo get close to the water. water. Because it will swim away because they go in the water. Because it's a basically a half woman and a half fish. <laughs> so, and now it's funny, but... 
Thanks again and have a great day.